thinking about asking your boss for a raise, uh, you'll need to show him or her why you deserve it. Paula Calajuri is the author of Get a Life, Not a Job. She joins us from New York with three ways to do that. So, Paula, first, you say there are markers that you need to be aware of to determine whether, in fact, you as an employee actually deserve a raise. Right. Well, we all think we deserve one, right? We'll probably get one, though, if all three markers are in place. <laughs> We want to make sure that there's an equity issue. Perhaps you're making less than others doing the exact same job. Also merit, so you want to make sure that you're consistently performing exceptionally well. And then the third is critical, that your organization just cannot afford to lose you. Those three things all in place, you're probably in a pretty good position to ask for and in fact get a job uh, all right, or so, salary increase. So let's tackle that equity first. You need to be looking into or know what are the ranges of salaries pay uh, for others that are doing the same job as you, and A, you got to try and figure out what that is. That's hard to sometimes determine. It's really tough, especially now, because in the past few years of downsizing, we've seen a lot of people have their responsibilities increase, but their salaries not increase. So the first thing, take stock of the types of, of responsibilities that you have. You might want to, believe it or not, you might want to ask for an elevated job title and I know there's that old joke when you can't get a raise get it you know ask for a title but really that one's gonna be very important because that will indicate what your salary range we want to get you to a higher salary range and the next thing use that new title or the title that you have to go on to some of those sites like payscale.com or glassdoor.com to try to figure out what that range is and hopefully in combination you'll do a good job at making the the equity case for yourself okay and then merit you need to discuss you need to come equipped to say on merit I deserve this raise you need to come up with maybe some real hardcore examples of what you've done what makes you deserving right absolutely most organizations will link performance review with your salary increase so don't assume that your boss remembers all of the great things you've been doing you want to make the case for yourself accomplishments achievements um, any evidence of commitment or engagement you want to make sure that you make the best possible case for yourself going into that that meeting and you want to show the competitive advantage that's the third marker that you talked about at the very top you you need to explain what's the competitive advantage know what kind of role you've played and how you have an advantage over anybody else who plays that similar role and in this climate, Fred, in this climate, this one's particularly important because unemployment is so high. You want to make sure that you are in a role that's absolutely critical to the organization. They need you in order to compete. And in of that, you want to make sure that the role that you do and the, and the job skills that you have are unique. So very to replace either internal in the organization or on the, on the open job market. So both being in a critical, <laughs> unique role, you'll be in a better position to ask for that, that salary increase. On it, there's an argument about a merit competitive advantage in the, your boss. Sorry, it's not going to happen. Then what? Right. And we're seeing a lot of this because companies are very reluctant to add anything to their operating expense. So what we're starting to see, companies are getting very creative with, with variable pay. So things like a commission, any kind of a bonus or an end of plan, you might want to go and sort of craft something yourself that you think that's on what you're actually accomplishing. Other thing is If it fails, mm. try after something you'd value. Station time or home. And remember, above all, make sure you have the appropriate job. So if you can't give them a raise, give them an elevated title. It will be important in the long run. Okay, all right. Usually people say elevated, but it means they want an elevated pay that goes along with it. But you say, you know, sometimes be happy Hopefully with the title. Soon. Maybe you'll be empowered in some other way somewhere down the line. Hopefully it will come. Hopefully <laughs> after the title.